Thank you for clicking on this video. Today's video is going to be all about five lazy ways to make money. So sometimes we want to make money and we want to put all our effort in and we want to start a business and we want to be an entrepreneur and do all this other stuff. But sometimes we want to make money and we don't have a lot of time and we just don't have a lot of energy. So these are some five lazy ways that you can make some extra money. If you're new here on this channel, we talk about side hustles, entrepreneurship, passive income, and all things money. So if you like topics like that, go ahead and subscribe. Number one, beta tester. A beta tester is somebody who tests an app or tests a software. What you would do is you download the app or the software, use it as a normal user would, and then you give Google feedback on how easy it was to use, how difficult it was to use, what the layout was, was it pleasant for you to use it, was it not pleasant, how it looks, how it operates, how slow or fast it is, but different things like that is what Google is looking for feedback to make their product better. Now the income depends on the developer's budget. So the income can range from $10 to $100 for testing an app or testing some software. So the bigger the budget, the more money that you'll make. So how do you become a beta tester if you're interested in this? Some sites like Beta Family, User Testing, Pinecone Research, Beta Bound, Beta Testing, App Coiner. So these are some sites that I would recommend checking out if you want to be a beta tester and you have some free time and you're like, I want to earn some extra money, I can test an app really quick. So I'm going to go on these sites. So I'll leave these down in the description so you can test away. Number two is listening to money, listening to money. Number two is listening to music for money. So how often do you clean the house and you can listen to music or you're cooking and you can listen to music driving, you can listen to music. You can even do your regular nine to five if you have one and be listening to music. So this is something that you can do, not a side hustle, but this is something that you can do to earn extra money while you're doing something else. So you're going to make money doing this, but you're not going to make a lot of money because remember the easier the thing is, the less amount of money you're going to get because then everybody can do this. So everybody can listen to music and get paid. So you're not going to make a million dollars listening to music and getting paid. But here's some sites that you can go to to get started. Current reviews, slice the pie, hit predictor, playlist push, radio earn, research.fm, cash for minutes, Earnably. So I'll list all these in the description box below so you can check them out. But these are really good ways to make money quickly when you are doing something else. So number three is Nielsen Family. And this is fun because you get to get paid to watch TV. So if you apply to be a Nielsen Family, you get selected, you get $50 for just applying. And then they select you, they come and they bring a device to your house to record kind of what you're watching on like one or two of your TVs. So we just did it on one TV because it was just easier to do it that way. So we had one TV set up with the software and then the Nielsen person just set it up and said, okay, you know, it's just going to give us feedback based on whatever you're watching and then you'll get paid per month. So it's not a lot of money per month, but you're already watching TV anyway, you might as well let a company throw a few dollars at you. So the average is 20 to $30 a month. And the longer you stay in the program, the more incentives they have. So the first month we got $100 for staying in the program. And then the third month we got another $100 for staying for three months. Why is this good? Because you don't have to do anything. You're already watching TV bring the device in, you let them set it up, they just send you money, you even get money for applying to be a Nielsen family, and if you don't get selected, you'll still get that $50 for applying. So this is a lazy way to make money because you're already gonna watch TV and you might as well get paid $30 a month to watch TV. So this next one is pretty fun. I have heard of it before, but um, I kind of was like, let me try it out to see if this is gonna make me any money. So this is food, eating food, or like being a food tester and getting paid for it. So all it is is you go and eat the food, you give your opinion, this is great food, or this is disgusting food, or why is it disgusting? And then that is all, and then they just pay you for your opinion about the food that they gave you to test. So you can find food tester jobs anywhere. There's sometimes they hire really quickly or not really, they don't really broadcast, oh, we're hiring food testers because then 
everybody would apply and it would just be a big mess. So sometimes they put it, they'll hire and say, we're hiring for food testers tomorrow if you can come to whatever restaurant and test this food. So right now the NFL is hiring for food testers for their stadium food. And I'll put a link down in the description below. But like I said, these jobs open and close really quickly because of the amount of volume, because everybody eats food and everybody wants to get paid for eating food. And it's simple and easy, very lazy way to make some money. Yeah, on the East Coast, Hershey Park does this. I'm not sure if Six Flags does this, but toward the beginning of the spring, they'll put an announcement on their website and say, we're testing food for the venues in our park. You know, who wants to be a food tester? So I will put a link down in the description for the NFL stadium food testing if you guys are interested in that one. And I'll put some other links to current food testing jobs so you guys can check back with that one if it's available when you're available. But this is really fun to do. It's kind of like a one-off lazy way to make money. You don't want to do it all the time because it's not a lot of money. You probably get about $30 for testing food. And it's just something fun to do to say that you did it. But this is a really easy way to make some money. So this next one, number five, it's gonna take you a little bit of effort, but not a whole lot of effort. And it's not outside of what you're already doing. So this is sell your stock photos or your stock videos online. We take a lot of photos with our phone. Our phones are really good at, at taking photos now because everybody has a smartphone and you can take photos in 4K. So this, if you're already doing this and you probably are already taking photos, I would go on to Shutterstock or Getty Images or IM or iStock Photos. All of these photo websites are amateur photographers who are just taking photos, stock footage, uploading them, and then they sell them, they get their money, and then that's it. So this is a lazy way to make money because again, this is something that you're already doing. So you might as well just upload your photos and make an account and get paid for it. So I tried all of these sites and all of them are pretty fun to do. They're very, very easy. So that is why I called this video five lazy ways to make money because you don't have to do a lot. Like with the one with listening to music, when I'm cleaning, I'm already listening to music. So you might as well just play whatever the website is having you listen to and then you get paid from that. And then the beta testing is you download apps all the time and use them and have your opinion. But whether you share your opinion is whether or not you get paid. So definitely look into beta testing because that one is something that pays a lot more and you can give feedback to Google on how to make things better. So I hope these five lazy jobs helped you guys out and please let me know which one you're gonna try because I would love to hear if somebody goes for the food testing and if you go to an amusement park to be a food tester or a fast food chain or if you're doing like the NFL stadium food testing, let me know in the comments box and also check out the description. I have listed all of these sites down below so that you can start making a little bit of extra cash in a lazy way. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and click that like button and the subscribe if you like content like this. I'll see you in the next one.